<laughs> okay, um, so we're back with a follow up for Metallica's um, seventh album. Uh, I'm sorry, seventh album, Reload. <laughs> going on ladies and gents in Cyberland coming back to you with another album review from Metallica <laughs> Reload so as I've stated multiple times Reload was technically the first album that I heard from Metallica now this is where I'll go into the history of how I got into Metallica and all those things with this album. So, you know, I was into punk rock and listening to a bunch of bands, you know, Green Day being one of them, and, and then all going into Offspring and Pennywise, and, you know, just more so bands like that. And one day, I saw this video where these guys had on these shades, and they were just getting down, and they were, like, spinning in this thing. And I was just like, what the hell is this? But I didn't know who the band was, but what they were playing was catching my attention because I loved the guitars and how it sounded. And they just looked like they were just grooving, having, having a good old time. And I was just like, I got to check this out. So as I had done with, I think, Green Day's Hitch and Ride, there was this thing called The Box, and I ordered a video from it. And I watched um, Metallica's The Memory Remains. And... I was completely blown away by it. It, it. I had never heard anything like it at the time. I was not used to guitars being played like that. I hadn't really heard music that was playing like that. You know, little did I know about the first four albums, right? And um, and then what even struck a chord with me more so was hearing who I thought it was a guy. I do apologize for that. Um, but I thought it was a guy at first. It was actually a woman that was singing this this kind of melody hymn into the song and I was just mesmerized by the whole song and how it started how it continued how it ended with her singing and, and I just was like I need to hear more about this band I need to find what I can about them because I I have now become fixated on Metallica and who they are and what they have to offer I really want to know more so one of my friends, shout out to you, David. He um, was is a huge Metallica guy, and we were in Japanese class, and he let me listen to Reload. Um, and I don't know if he let me borrow it. I don't remember if he let me borrow it, David, but he let me um, listen to it, and um, I. Uh, as soon as fuel started, I was like, whoa, what the hell? And I listened to that, and I got the Memory Remains. I, I listened to Memory Remains a couple times while we were in class, and then went to Devil's Dance and Unforgiven 2. I was like, Unforgiven 2 is like, oh, yeah, there's another one. It's on the black. I'm like, okay. And I got through a couple more tracks, and then I don't remember if I borrowed it. I don't, I don't know if I did. But the point is, I, at some point between that time, and the next couple days, I went and got Reload. I forgot where I bought it. It was either Target or Borders at the time because they were right next to each other. And um, I listened to the whole album from top to bottom. And there were some tracks I was like, eh, these are okay. And there were other tracks I was like, oh, I really like this. So Reload kind of was... I guess you could say the beginning of my journey into harder music than punk rock, and I'm very happy, happy for those, that time. And Reload just kind of, that was down that, that turned me on to heavy, heavy metal and heavier bands of the sort, whether that was from the 70s, 80s, or the 90s and stuff. 
Um, and to this day, it's one of my favorite Metallica albums. Not because the music per se. It's just it was the album that started my my um, started my uh, my path to Metallica and everything they've been releasing up until then. You know, I, I've been a fan of theirs of their work since Reload. Um, again, Master Puppets is my favorite album, but. Reload also is very special to me, just like Injustice for All and Death Magnetic. You know, those are very special al albums to me because what was going on when I heard them or what they brought to my mind or what had been going on around me at the time that I was listening to. There were, it was just numerous. It's it just the memories, you know. Um, with Reload, I felt... As I look back on it compared to Load, I felt Reload was the harder of the two. Um, Reload felt more like a metal album to an extent than a blues album, but it still had a lot of its blues rock elements like, you know, um, Devil's Dance, Unforgiven 2. Um, I would say Attitude, and I would also say um, Slither. But more so, the metal aspects was, you know, more like Fuel and uh, Carpe Diem and Where the Wild Things Are. They, they, and uh, Bad Seed too, but it, it was a mixture of it being moved around. Um, my rating for that was a 9 out of 10. I thought it was a better, I thought Reload was better than Load to me of the two. And there's been talks that originally was supposed to be one full album, and I've seen people try to do tracks of, of, of um, putting it together how it should have been as a one album. And, and I think it probably could have worked better if it was. But at the same time, there's just some songs that I see people pull and don't have that I love those songs. So I'm just like, eh. I think it's just, it had its moment, it had its time. Just leave it like it is, you know? Uh, my top five tracks are Memory Remains, Fuel, Carpe Diem, Baby. Um, where the wild things are in Devil's Dance. There wasn't anything I didn't like. Like with Low, there wasn't anything I didn't like. It's just it grew. It's just one of those things where the music grew on me. Um, I would also say that just like Low, the lyrics were kind of more trying to find that positive direction to go towards, as opposed to a dark direction, negative direction. I felt that with. Um, Reload to being trying to be inner energetic to an extent with how you proceed with things in your life. So I kind of got that from it. Um, also, this was the last album with Jason Newstead. Um, he had been with the band since Injustice for All, and you know, I'm not going to get into what happened with that. Let's just say um, there was issues, and unfortunately, I guess it can be worked out and. Jason left, and that that's that. So if you want to find out about that, you can find the information. It's not hard to come across. It's very... When when Jason left at the time when I was in high school, it was a lot more tight-lived than now where it's like 2020-something, where now all the information is pretty much there on what went wrong and why it went that way. Whereas at the time, it was... The information was a lot harder to... You know, they... We weren't really... It was harder to get the information on why things went the way they did. Uh, musicianship was good. Uh, nothing. I, I felt there was nothing wrong with the album to me. It's just um, the thrash metal I enjoy more than um, the uh, the um, the heavy metal aspects of the blues rock, and that and that's okay. You know, it's good that they tried something different, but nonetheless, it's still a good album. Again, would I say start here? I don't know. I mean, I started here, and I was able to go into the past part, of, you know, the past of their works and enjoy them. It's it's kind of hard to say, should you start with this as a Metallica, getting into Metallica? I don't know. I would just say it really depends on your palate. If you, if you like the blues parts first, then yeah, but if you want really, like, the the heaviest of the heaviest of them, then you need to start where they, when they first started. It's just kind of like, it really depends on how you, how you want to go about it. Me, um, 
again, you know, one through four has its locker room, and album five, Black Album has its own locker room, and Load and Reload are hanging out with each other kind of thing. They're not, they, they don't go into each other's locker room kind of, that's how I would put, um, you know, they're their club. They don't go, they're not in, they're not allowed in the other clubs kind of thing. That's just kind of how they come off when it comes to how the albums are, how they sound and such. But regardless, still good albums. So with that being said, you know, let's, uh, cue the music. Gone insane, but I'm